amazing, amazing. And I've never heard a recording of my parents playing that piece. Hey everyone, uh, Anthony Cheney Guzman of the Orge Iglesias Project here. And uh, today I really wanted to show you all some behind the scenes footage of the interview that I did with Henry Hutchinson Jr. not that long ago. In this particular behind the scenes footage, I'm showing him a track of music from 1956 called Poema. This is a track composed by Jose Enrique Pedrera and it's for violin and piano. And in addition to that video from 1982 um, of him as a young man on violin, clearly, and my grandmother Olga Iglesias singing another composition by Jose Enrique Pedrera called Ave Maria. So the idea is to capture his genuine reaction and we did so with success and I can't wait to show you the tape. So here it is. So Jose Enrique Pedrera, of course, not only was he family of yours, but a fantastic musician that would compose pieces of music. And when there was violin, he would dedicate it to your father. Right. And I know you're familiar with a, a particular piece known as Poema. Right. And I, uh, in the archives, have a recording of Poema with your father on violin and oh your God. mom on piano. And I, I have it here, and I want to um, have you listen to it and, and give us your reaction after you're done listening to it. Oh, my God. Of course. Okay. All right. I'm going to hit play now. Okay, well, I'll next.
<laughs> Does it bring you back? Oh, amazing, amazing. And I've never heard a recording of my parents playing that piece. I heard them a thousand times performing it. My father was an amazing violinist. May I be the one to say it? Uh, it took him quite a while. It took my father quite a while to t teach me how to how to play this piece. Because of course, you see, it's got so many nuances and so much different. Every other note has a different meaning to it. You know, it's a. And for non-musicians like myself, you listen to it and you're immediately captivated by the emotion, the passion, and those high notes, like the high notes on the violin. It almost seems like the, the, the string is going to break because they get so high. And the higher you go in the instrument, the more precise you have to be in your fingering and, and your execution of it. Yeah. Because any, uh, any, it's not forgiving. Up there, it's just not forgiving. Uh, especially because of its range of, of um, octaves. And, and it goes from the highest note to the bottom note of the violin with very subtle changes. So it's, it's, it's technically, it's got to be uh, perfected slowly. Pedreira was a very passionate man. He was a romantic at heart. I mean, he was passionate about everything that he did, and his music is like that. So it is not written on, on, on the page as it is played. You have to learn it from somebody who has come from Pedreira's line of thought to be able to perform it because it's not what's written. It's like a danza, you know, but danza, you know, the rhythms are a little bit more stable, but this, this ain't, it's not. What's written doesn't look what, 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 what sounds, what it sounds like. It is a wonderful piece and yeah. I love to perform that piece for people that have never heard a violin before or people who have never heard music of this nature before because they all fall in love with it. They, yeah. they, they, it, gets, it gets to the people. It, it's, it's that powerful. And it's so surprising. Um, Just when you think it can't go higher, it goes higher. <laughs> <laughs> and like the first time I listened to this piece, which was very, very recent, I, I, I was in shock. I was like, wow. And this is from 1956. Yes. Because Pedrera only lived to be... A young, 54 yeah. or something, 55, He passed right? away in 59. Uh -huh. And this was only a few years before he passed away. This is from a vinyl of compositions of Pedrera that features your parents, Olga, uh, even uh, Marta Montañez de Casals on cello, uh, Ilda Andino. Um, Ilda. And there is a, a whole compilation of songs, and this is one of them. It is a wonderful piece. I think it's one of the violin masterpieces, not only from a Puerto Rican composer, but from any composer. It's a masterpiece. Yeah, we need to make sure people discover this more. Pedreira uh, had the Poema, which is this piece we've uh, listened to, Elegia India, India yep. which is a very, um, a very different type of dark piece, which is also very emotional. Uh, souvenir uh, for violin and piano also. And he's got something very interesting. He wrote the Ave Maria. So uh, I have brought a video here that I discovered in the archives of Olga. Um, I know it's you collaborating with Olga. I can't identify the music. Uh, it was likely early 1980s in Vegas Artes. Oh, and I have a feeling you haven't seen it either. I don't know who filmed it, um, but I would love to uh, get your reaction and see if you could help us identify the music. It's about five minutes long. Absolutely. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's listen to let's it. Let's listen to it. Oh, <laughs> oh my God.
Rosalyn Pavón is conducting. I thought so. This brings back so many memories. 
Oh my God, that was wonderful. Oh, this is incredible. I remember, remember very vividly that moment. It had to be before the 90s, of course. 82. Early 80s, that was what I figured 82. as much. I think that was when they were inaugurating the season, the 81st. first season of um, Bellas Artes. Yes, uh, actually it was 82, I believe. Um, this uh, was also, I had a piano reduction, or the orchestral part had a piano reduction, which we used to uh, perform in weddings. And also. so that was the Ave Maria by Pedreira. That's the Ave Maria by Pedreira. And we were just talking about that. Yes, and, and yes, here we are. I immediately, I recognized it. That's amazing. That's great. Uh, what a great piece. Yeah. What a fabulous one. And that was Rosalyn Pavón as the conductor. Rosalyn Pavón. And then uh, right behind me is Jose Pepito Figueroa, the former concertmaster before I, I went in, and Cachiro Figueroa, his brother, uh, first stand. And then my dad, principal second, and, and in the back there, my mother was in the piano. Or How about that? Esta. It's a, we're, I believe this Jose Raul Ramirez might have had a hand at uh, orchestrating some of this for that performance. It seems to me, it seems to me, I'm not sure about that, but it seems to me that that's the case. Uh, I believe that this was uh, maybe that this was an encore. It seemed like an encore, but it seems to because me. there was, uh, previous to that, there was more recordings from that night. More recordings. I could show them to you, yeah. Would this be, would this be um, the night, the evening that we performed all Pedreira works? Because there was, there was uh, one evening that was dedicated to all the uh, works by Pedreira, and the poema was orchestrated. Uh -huh. and I did that with the symphony, and and, uh, and Jose Raul played, and Alejia India was there, and uh, and it was Pedreira's music. I'm so oh. glad I've been able to provide this opportunity to you. Uh, I'm just floored. I leave it to Olga to keep everything. <laughs> <laughs> I am just floored. This is this is wonderful. I can't thank you enough. Well, I'm so glad that again we shared this with you. Thank you so much for that. It was very thank magical. Thank you. Thank you. Ray.